One of the best ways, I think, of seeing the limitations of science is to imagine a lady whom I'll call my Aunt Matilda, who's baked a beautiful cake and she's displaying it to the Nobel Science Prize winners of the world and asks them, I ask them as the master of ceremonies, I suppose, to analyze the cake. And of course, the chemist will reduce it to elements and the physicist to elementary particles and so on. And we get a brilliant description of it. And then finally, I say to them, now, thank you for these scientific descriptions. I've just got one last question. Why did she make the cake? And of course, the physicist can analyze it. But the physicist clearly will not be able to tell me why she made the cake. In fact, no scientist will unless she reveals it to me. Now, the interesting thing about that is this, that when she reveals it and tells me it was made for her cousin Fred or something like this, that doesn't shut my reason off. I use my reason to see if her explanation makes sense. Now, of course, that raises very deep questions. It raises the question as to whether there is a something or better a someone who stands in the same relationship to the universe as Aunt Matilda does to the cake and whether he has revealed anything. And of course, the basic Christian claim is that's precisely what has happened, that God who made the universe has revealed something. And that little illustration may be simple, but it helps to explain another misapprehension that's very widespread, that revelation, that is in terms of the Bible revealing things, is somehow against reason. That's nonsense. We use reason in all areas, even in understanding revelation. The point is there are different sources of information. One of them is the study of nature. And the other is, as I believe, uh, the book of God's word. And when God reveals something in his word, we don't shut our reason. In fact, we need a reason even to read it. But then we can see if what is said makes sense. And so that would be the approach to the question of the limits of science that I would take.